hello and welcome in this blender tutorial we are going to be animating the skirt and the hair as our character is running now that we are finished with our run cycle we are going to animate these things in order to give to give the character or to give the animation more life so without further ado let's begin we will start on the down pose and finish on the left on the up on the up pose on, with the left foot up in the air. So let's begin. We're going to select this bone, select rotation, and since she's going down, we are just going to lift the bone, uh, rotate the bone up like this. Deselect, select this other bone, rotate the bone up like this, deselect, select this other bone, rotate it, deselect, select this front bone, rotate it, and rotate it on the Y axis as well, deselect select the other bone rotate it just a bit and rotate it on the y axis as well select all press i to confirm and then we're going to go on the passing pose and this is uh, this is the lowest point in our work cycle and this is and this mean that means that means that the skirt will be at its highest point as well. It's kind of like the body goes up, goes down, but the skirt goes up, or the hair, or anything that is loose goes up, just like that. So we're just going to rotate this on the x-axis a bit higher than the previous rotation deselect select the other bone rotate it on the y a bit higher than the previous one and also rotate it on the x just to give it that extra hump select the other bone rotate it on the y and rotate it on the x deselect select this other bone Rotate on the X and rotate on the Y. Deselect, select this other bone. Rotate it on the Y and on the X as well. Like that. Select O. Press I to confirm. And then we are going to go on the up position this is the pose where where the character is now getting off the ground and going into the contact position so we are just going to select this bone since the character is going up that means the skate has to be coming down we are going to rotate it just a bit on the X axis, deselect, select the other bone, rotate on the Y just a bit, and on the X just a bit like this. Deselect, select this other bone, rotate on the Y, and on the X just like that. Deselect, select this other bone. Now for the front part, we're just going to make sure that the skirt is not clipping with this leg, with this leg that is up in the air. It will clip, but we just have to make sure that it's not that visible or it's not that conspicuous. So rotate on the x-axis all the way for this other bone, deselect, select this other bone, and rotate on the way and rotate also on the Y keep 
rotating until the skin is not visible rotate and deselect let's lift lift it up a bit and that's okay select all confirm and now I'm going to the right contact here this is the highest point in our in our run cycle so we are going to make sure that the skirt is cling, almost clinging to her body so select this bone rotate just like this on the X deselect select this other bone rotate as well make sure that it's not clipping rotate on the x axis as well deselect select this other bone make sure that it's not clipping just like that deselect select this bone as well rotate on the x axis rotate on the y as well deselect now for this bone I think we should uh, rotate on the y just in of the skate inside close to her body just a little bit deselect I think this yeah rotate this bone because it's clipping the skate is clipping and let's select all press I to confirm and then we move on to the down pose we are just going to rotate we are just going to do the same that we did on the previous down pose and that is rotate on the x on the x axis a bit like this now that she's coming down the sketch is starting to go up select this one rotate on the y axis just a bit and on the x axis deselect select this other bone on the y axis and on the x axis deselect select this bone rotate on the x deselect select this bone rotate it a bit on the x-axis select all press i to confirm we move on to the passing pose this is the lowest point in our cycle so the skate has to be at its highest select this bone on the x-axis rotate like this deselect select this one on the y-axis and on the x deselect select this other bone on the y-axis rotate and on the x-axis rotate also deselect select this bone rotate deselect select this other bone rotate and rotate on the y as well select all press i to confirm now on the up position we are just going to rotate the bone this bone inward just a bit close to the body and select this other one as well just a little close to the body select this other one this effect okay rotate deselect select this one rotate now to make sure that it's not clipping rotate on the y as well
press G to lift it up and at least it's not clipping like this let's go back to octahedral select all uh, I don't think I selected the other bone up this bone okay just in a bit select all press I to confirm now for the left contact pose we are just going to do the same thing we did on the right contact pose and that is this is the highest point in our cycle so the skate will be at this lowest deselect all select this bone rotate deselect select this other bone rotate inward I think it's uh, just like this select this other bone rotate on the x-axis select this other bone and rotate inward on the y and rotate up on the x deselect up let's select this other bone rotate on the y just like this since it's clipping press g lift up let's go back to r to see if it's clipping and since as you can see it's not select all press i to confirm so since this pose is the same as this pose we just select this keyframe shift d and put it right over here that way that that way it's just the same thing instead of doing the same thing over and over again we are just we just co copy the keyframe and do and replace it with the ones with the one with the skirt where the skirt is moving as you can see we've just managed to animate the skirt in our run cycle so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one subscribe if you can and tell your friends about this tutorial goodbye and see you in the next one